Hello everyone, today we are going to have a look at one of the features of Adobe InDesign. Adobe InDesign offers the option of creating interactive PDF and today we are going to have a look at one of the interactive features of Adobe InDesign and that is to place the images on a big on big resolution when a thumbnail is clicked. So let's directly jump on to the tutorial. So I have created a blank document in Adobe InDesign and I'm going to place a background first of all. So I have just placed a background on the canvas and locked the layer. Now I'm go I have grabbed the rectangle frame tool and created a rectangle frame tool where I want to create the thumbnails, right? We are going to create three thumbnails because we are going to place three images, right? And we also have to duplicate it by holding the alt key, a bigger rectangular box because this is the region where the image will be displayed when we click on any, any particular thumbnail. Okay, let's start putting the images inside the thumbnail let's reduce the height a bit okay click the frame go to file place and placed your thumbnail i have taken example of cricketer so i have placed the first image over here you can also adjust the placement of image inside the thumbnail like this click on the second one do the same procedure you can scale it you can place it the way you want and the third thumbnail Okay, our main aim is to place the images over here when we click on any particular thumbnail, right? So for that, what we have to do, click on the bigger fr fr rectangular frame, go to file, place and place the same image that is the first thumbnail and scale it the way you want to place it big like this. Okay, in the same way, what you need to do, you have to create two duplicate rectangle box because in each box we have to place different images like this and for the third one this one this is the first this is the second and this is the third one we can place the image of third cricketer over here okay select all and align it properly okay now the main images are aligned the thumbnail have been created now what we have to do we have to make it interactive so first of all you need what you need to do go to essentials and click on interactive for pdf so this will enable all the options that are to be used in creating an interactive pdf right okay so select all the rectangle frame tools go to window interactive buttons and create all the images that you have selected in the button form okay for simplicity i am just moving it so that we know that on which image we are working okay so we can name this one as green thumbnail okay this is a blue thumbnail this one is a black thumbnail right and we can name it as black big this one can be named as blue big for our understanding and this one is the green big okay now we have transformed into our buttons and now we have to put condition over them so that when we click on any particular image so that our desired image should appear so click on this one okay that is the green thumbnail now we have to put the condition what is to be happened when we click on any particular thumbnail so click on the action and from here you can select show slide slash hide buttons so what we want to show in this thumbnail that when we click on this thumbnail this image should appear only we do not want any other image to be shown but we have to show the thumbnail okay so we have to unhide the black one and unhide the uh, blue one let's see which one is button 13 oh this this should be green big and this should be blue big when you rename any button it will automatically be updated in the buttons panel okay now go once again over here you can see that we have unhi unhidden the unhide the black big and the green big should be shown and we have unhide the blue big in the same way for the second one that is the blue thumbnail do the same procedure show all the thumbnails and unhide the green big and black big in the same way for the third one show all the thumbnails show the black image we do not want to show the blue big and green big okay so what we have done we have made it interactive and when we click on any thumbnail it will be it will appear let's test it that is a preview okay so we can see that when we click on the 
blue one it has shown the blue image when we click on the black one that is it has shown the black image but we can do some more things with it uh, let's try placing the text with it so that the name should appear so let's create a text box and write the name of the cricketer that is the Babar Azam let's change the font and make it big rotate it from the paragraph panel you can make it right align and simply scale it like this you can also change the color okay now it has the name has been placed in the same way we have to play the name of other others as well now we have placed the text but they are not in the form of buttons so first of all we have to transform into buttons so select all these three go to type and transform into button and one by one name them let's suppose we can name it as green text that is to be named as blue text and the final one is to be named as black text okay now these all three are in the form of buttons we can place each one over one another okay now we have to change the condition in the thumbnail once again so when we click on this one we have to show the green text not the other ones so we have un hidden the other ones similarly for the blue one we want to show the blue text but not the other ones and in the same way for the third one we want to unhide the blue and green and show the black one okay so we have updated the condition but first one thing we have to check as well when any particular slide will appear in the PDF we want to show the images on default which images or text we want to show on default and which not okay so in this case we want to show this green picture on default so what we have to do we have to make sure that this hidden until triggered is enabled or disabled depending on our requirement right let's suppose when the slide will appear we want to show it as default so it should be appear without clicking anything so we do not need to click on that whereas on the other images this one we do not want to appear it automatically so we have to click on the hidden until triggered and for the same one the third one we do not want to appear it on default so we have to hidden that as well so we have hidden the main images depending on our requirement and in the same way we have to play with the text as well we do not want to show the text on default so we have to hidden until triggered for the blue one and for the black one we have to select the hidden until trigger button but we do not want we want to show this one so we do not click on the hidden until trigger button so it will appear on default and that is our requirement let's align all these things right and now let's create a pdf